So today we've got something very, very special to show you. The biggest car collection, I believe, in the United States. We're going to show you 150 supercars and luxury cars worth about $100 million. Crazy, crazy stuff. Let's go take a look. So we are in Eurocar in Orange County. This is the baby stuff, Adam. Baby stuff? Baby stuff. This isn't even the start of it. Let's go take a look. I know a car that you like. I can, yeah. That is... Amazing. Well, well, well. What a pleasure. Chris, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. So good, good to, to see, see you, you too. Welcome, welcome. Good and, to have you here. And happy new year to you. See you, my friend. This Hello. is Adam. Hello, Adam. How are you? Doing? Nice to meet you. Nice welcome. To meet you. Uh, welcome. Uh, not only is he a fantastic videographer and a friend, but he's a great car enthusiast. Oh, my God. He knows way more about cars than, than I do, and he's already fallen in love with this. <laughs> oh, my God. He has good taste, that's why. You like that, don't you? This is unbelievable. Yeah. This is this has got my name all over it. I, I have a feeling there's probably a, a bigger selection of these somehow, right? We got a few back here, but don't don't tell anybody. Come on. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Get your camera over I, here. I can't not show them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just briefly interrupting this video, this gorgeous, gorgeous car showroom, I've never seen anything quite like it, to thank Happy Jewelers, who are our sponsor today, and I'm sure you've seen them many, many times on the channel. They have their greatest selection of watches fantastic diamonds i've bought many watches in fact this one i bought from happy jewelers like six months ago truly truly phenomenal it doesn't matter what your budget is they have watches from 500 bucks up to the sky's the limit same thing with jewelry they have diamonds they have lab grown diamonds all the different stuff and gabe and danny who are the owners they're just perfect people they're just so so nice Anyway, we'll put all the information in the description. Remember, it doesn't matter what your budget is. If you want some jewelry or a watch, those are your guys. Happy jewelers. Now let's get back to cars. Look at this. Unreal or unreal? Every flavor, every color, every model, every make. So they have literally, I don't know, 10 times what all the official dealers have in every luxury brand pretty much, right? We do, it's like one-stop shopping. You can see every brand here and never have to leave. And, and I've been a, a customer here for quite a long time, bought a lot of cars yes, and yes. Uh, we'll talk about that soon. Absolutely. Where Absolutely. should we start? Oh my gosh, well, Enjoy. this is a Lamborghini Ultima. So this is the last V12 Aventador 22. It's about $820,000. It's a Spider, beautiful blue, but this is the last of the V12s for Lamborghini right Until now. they announce another one right Shh. <laughs> <laughs> just a spectacular car to drive what do you think of the color adam it's cool i do like it i'm not usually a baby blue fan or powder blue fan but it looks great you can do anything on a lambo though right yeah I mean, very very aggressive very hard car to drive yeah yeah uncomfortable Shh. yes <laughs> no, no fun to drive they're trying to sell them there'll Michael. be no coffee drinking or phone calling you will be glued to the wheel i live i lo live at the top of a hill and I was going to buy one of these and the thing wouldn't go up the hill. Not, <laughs> not this one, it was uh, a few years ago. Yes. It, it's just so hard to, never mind. You arrived at the party, everyone's like, who's this guy? Yeah, right? <laughs> Another V12. Beautiful. 812 super fast from Ferrari, 2021. It's about $630,000. Beautiful. Fantastic convertible. Once again, V12 coming to an end. Here we go, the last of the. So no more V12s? No more. What do you think of the new Ferrari SUV? The Pura Seng, I think it's called, or something uh, along those lines? It's sold out, it's spectacular, it's everything. I don't, haven't had not touched one yet, but I, I think it's gonna be a home run, I really do. Do you like it? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's kind of a competitor to the Eurus, I guess. They had to come up, Eurus, the Colin, and all those big boys had the SUVs, now Ferrari's joined that group. Right. Oh wait, so. I have seen it, because I think I've seen some memes where they taken like design ideas from everybody something yeah. well yeah something like the very best simple. of every car yes. right? yeah yeah <laughs> pretty pretty car yes. these are great cars yeah. i absolutely love these there is and they're also very comfortable to drive, it drive. easy to drive yeah yes, comfortable. you just point it and it gets you there yeah, right you've had a few cars right Michael? uh yes oh, okay. just a couple just a couple <laughs> now this is something this is my first time seeing this car this is it specter specter yes specter quite this lovely i mean wow and this is Electric? Electric, all electric. This is the hot girl to dance, 2024. Oh, a lot going nuts. on. What is the range on this? Do you know? They do over 300. Will it? Yeah. They, they don't, their goal wasn't to be a, no one takes a Rolls Royce to anywhere. Yeah. It's a to very, dinner. You take it to you dinner. To dinner. Right? So they weren't concerned about <laughs> mileage, Look let's say. I, I know. The, where's the Spectre? Yeah. But just the fit and finish is spectacular. Their coach work is, un, is unmatched. And this car costs how much? It's about $639,000. <laughs> oh a lot of money. 
Yes. Yeah, but think about all the money you'll be saving on petrol. <laughs> <laughs> and doubling my electric bill, which is already yeah, outrageous. Exactly. <laughs> I really like the rear lights. Yeah, it's very different, isn't it? Like fins almost, yes. Yeah. Oh, how gentle and elegant. I think you need another Rolls. I don't know. I do. You and do? I think it might be this one behind you. Oh. Well, that's oh. meaty. Oh. What is this? <laughs> that's a 2023 Phantom 8. That is the flagship of Rolls Royce. The whole car is completely customized, one off. It's like a tank. It's huge. It's a, it's a penthouse. <laughs> look inside and we go, holy moly. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. You will be the only oh, wow. one. You have to open the back door as well for full effect, Adam. Okay. You'll be the only one that has this in your neighborhood, this color combination. Anywhere, I think. Look, oh, possibly combination. the United States. <laughs> I, would anybody else want one? I don't know. You Michael, you need this car. Do you think? <laughs> yes. How much is it? Uh, about, gosh, I think 800,000. 800,000. Yeah. I mean, if you liquidate a couple of watches, then you're there. <laughs> You don't wear them all anywhere. Thousand. But where could you go in this? Everywhere. You're driven. You get driven in this, Michael. Yeah, you do, right? Yes. You do. Yes. So you know what I like about this is that Mansori tends to be hit or miss. Some of the stuff they do is a little bit too blingy. Yeah. This it's looks tasteful, right? so it's good. It's tasteful. Yes, it and does. And especially, I mean, imagine this on a black car where the carbon, the crushed carbon doesn't show even as much as it does on this. Yeah. I like it the way it stands out. I, I do. Yeah. Because it takes a, it makes a little more kind of a current younger look to it. Oh, more aggressive feel too. It's not quite what so much. What a crazy car. This is bespoke, so they ordered this way. Someone oh, wow. ordered, yeah, they ordered the car this way, bespoke. But Mansour, the Mansouri stuff has to be done aftermarket, Afterwards, right? yes. Yeah, yeah, but they, they're in bed together, so they do, they work together. The oh, two they companies. are now? Yes. They're, oh, very cool. The Mansouri is very, very, they, I mean, they probably made six kits for the whole world, so. I mean, look at that front end. It's like a million dollar house brick. <laughs> 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 That's interesting. This is pretty. That is. And oh. so is that. I know you like the black one, right? Yes. Yeah, the Turbo uh, S. Yeah, I, I'm still in it for the GT. There you go, that, that one, one right there. Yep. Ah, that's the new GT3 RSs. They're spectacular cars to drive. Yeah, because Michael, you already know that there is not a chance I'm talking about this monstrosity. I know you're not a fan of that one. I like that one. <laughs> This is quite special, right? So this is the GT3 RS. It's a track car from the ground up. It's meant for the track. No one actually probably takes it on the track. Spectacular car though, $530,000 plus. So this one is the Vizac edition. So Weissach is gonna be about 62 pounds lighter and that's about $38,000 of, to get that 62 pounds off, you gotta spend $38,000. To, to, yeah, to, <laughs> to get less. To get less. To get less. You pay more to get less, but that's the hood, the, the fenders are carbon fiber, the roof's carbon fiber, all this is achieved, the rims are magnesium, it's to get the car a little bit lighter, so you pay a lot for those 68 pounds. And these are magnesium. These They're magnesium, wheels. correct. Magnesium sensor locks, they weigh absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Air comes through here, cools in the radiator here, and they want the cool uh, air to flow away from the motor. So these push it away to keep the motor from running cool. And that starts to take effect at somewhere like 150 miles an hour, right? <laughs> they say it starts at 120. Okay, there you go. Perfect, <laughs> easy, for you on easy. Track, right? But it has about 2,000 pounds of downforce. This car at 100 miles an hour compared to the previous model. So it's like a giraffe being um, on top of the what car. What does it weigh? About three, 200 pounds, like over 3,000 pounds. Not crazy. Okay, all right. Five. So we're, we're almost getting to the point where you could drive it upside down. Another 1,200 pounds. We can almost fly. The wing, we can fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Come and stand here, Michael, for perspective on just how big this wing is. Well, I is. can do my thing, <laughs> you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. this is. Ta da! I mean, it is. It's your full arm span. Six foot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doubles up as a coffee table. Yeah, ping pong yeah. table. Latte bar, right? Yeah, yeah. adjustable pool height, on it. too. Adjustable height. So if you're slightly smaller, you can just. Flip it yep. down a little bit. Yes, yes. It's all F1 adjustable. As you drive the car, you can adjust the wing up and down. Yeah, you need to, right? And I mean, doesn't it come up as well for braking? Or no, is... that's the McLaren does that. Okay, but this does this do that one. to an extent. But okay. yeah, McLaren's been known for that. And then yeah. moving on to the exact polar opposite. Yes. No, Your let's just stay car. here. Let's no. just stay on this one. <laughs> then we have serious weight. This is what, 7,000 pounds? I'm not, I'm yes. not even going to show it. Wait, <laughs> I'm not, you can talk about it, but I'm not going to show it. <laughs> this is meant to climb a wall. It's meant to climb a wall the ceiling and back over. They're very capable. That's the G63 4 by 4 squared. Take a look at that. It's cool, it so looks like nice. any other G-Wagon. Oh, More. and guess what? Let's do the thing and everyone go wow. Oh, listen to how good that sounds. Like an MG Metro. He what happened it. to you as a child? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I got exactly. taste in cars what, is what, what happened. What happened as a child? So I bought one of these, as you know. Yes. I have the, um, the regular sized one, the G63. Yes. And 
He's like, why did you buy that? I said, because I like it. Why do you like it? Because I do. <laughs> what is there to like about it? Everything. <laughs> it's only their best-selling car for the last three years, so. It's their flagship Mercedes, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's their home run. I, hey, it doesn't mean that everyone that buys them isn't a bit silly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is different, is the word. But yeah. it's, it's fun. I mean, you oh, can't find it. It's $430,000 limited production. They okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Because you know the buyers of these cars. Yes. Who is more likely to use them for that? And I'm using air quotes for intended purpose for this, because this is not intended to go off-road ever. This is intended to go on the track. Are more people off-roading this, or are more people tracking that? That's going to be more tracking that. Because Porsche owners are sensible people, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I love Porsche. I'm not going to argue with you, but I, you know, I can't pick my favorite car. It's like picking my favorite kid. Of course. <laughs> this to me is a lot of fun, Adam. This is a great car. I love my G-Wagon. I really do. You feel secure. You're looking yes. over the top of the world. It's a tank. If anyone chases after you, you just destroy it. It'll vaporize, right? Yes, I mean, exactly. It, it, Let's make him drive it, actually. Let's make him drive it. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on. This, believe it or not, is one of my favorite all-time cars. This is not the current DBS. Old school. 2015? 2010, actually. 2010, yeah. wow. Yeah, because they didn't change. They kind of rebranded it and put in different headlights, different taillights, but they kind of kept that body going through I like many, this. many years. It's I, classic. I, so how much is this? That one, I think, is only 120. That's, I mean, a lot of car for, I mean, still a lot of money, but... Yeah. It's, it's a lot, a lot of cars. Lot of they cars. sound great too. They sound fantastic. It's called the notes of Aston Martin, they call it. Not exhaust, the notes of Aston Martin. Oh, yes, there you go. Yes, yes. It's beautiful. If that had today's technology, I would have one. What would you like? A so the, the GPS function and... We can put CarPlay in it for you. Every, <laughs> it wouldn't matter. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's not ideal. But it is a beautiful car it and is. it still has a lot of merits as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it has a tape deck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What is this? That is the competitor to the GT3 RS is the STO. It is a track car. It is meant for the track. Once again, like the GT3 RS is very, very aggressive. There's no bonnet to put anything in. Hard, hard racing seats, big fins to cool the brakes. It's all about performance. It's loud. It's rough. It's wild. It is fun. Can it, it be driven on the street? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Pretty nuts, right? Dude, yeah. I love them. I Real absolutely love them. Casual color, doesn't stand out at all. <laughs> so I had a regular hurricane. Yeah. And mine was pretty wild, right? I called it Zeus. It was yeah. It was very wild. Yellow with red and black big graphics all oh, wow. over it. Yeah. yeah. It looked like the German flag. <laughs> the calipers I had done in the Italian flag. Ah. So there were three color stripes. It, that was pretty cool, I thought. No? Kinda... It wasn't. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> Look. You know what we were talking about at uh, Wicked? That's an Esco. You know what it's called? Yeah, but what's the proper name for it? Uh, a gill. Nope. Begins with an N. Uh, you got two of them. A ninja. Between, you got two of them between your legs. Nuts. <laughs> Close. Uh, knees. Knackers. Oh, that would be K. Knackers. It's a knacker duct. Knacker duct. That's funny. That's the proper name I remember. Oh, yeah. How goodness. about this? I like this dry carbon. It's a wrap. It's oh, it is? Oh. This is a wrap? Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's very good. It's yeah. very good wrap. Oh, I would up. never I have known. Yeah, you, you can see it? Only, only just because I'm looking, though. Yeah, but it's a really good I, one. I thought this was a dry carbon hood. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And how much is one of these? Uh, that's right around, I think, 240-ish, 250-ish, right around that range. And that's been a great car for years. I mean, for Lamborghini, it's been a hell of a car. It's, it's a 200 mile nice it's, Yeah, it's a 200 mile an hour SUV, so it's really meant to. This will do 200 miles an hour? Yes, it will. It's insane. Yeah. So incredible. if you're late for soccer practice, really? if you're late for <laughs> soccer practice, you have a chance to get there on time. <laughs> Funny. And this is a wrap on top of white, right? It's yes, that's a matte, matte clear to make it look matte white on top of white. It looks great. Mm. Yeah. And it's got the crazy tires on. These, these are stickers, look. Yeah. Never seen that before. That's a, new, that's a new thing they're doing, the stickers. And it stays on? Uh, most of the time. Apart from that bit. <laughs> well, a little, little bit here. You need to get a pin and let the air out, but that might yeah, flatten the tire, yeah. right? Go be careful. Uh, we have a ton of cars here. A lot of things to look at. Go do your thing. I'll hook up with you later. We'll talk. Catch you soon. This yeah. is exciting. So much fun. I'll see you in about four days, okay? You got it. <laughs> okay, there's some sandwiches by the Rolls Royce. <laughs> 
So you didn't expect anything like this, right? This is crazy. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've come here and They've I, expanded don't, I don't remember there being this many. What do you think of these? I like them. They look great in black, don't they? Yeah. I'm not sure about the blue one, but... Yeah, I, I definitely think that if you're gonna do a luxury SUV... It needs to be... Yeah. It needs to be black. But, Michael, seriously, I think you should buy that Mansori one. Are you gonna chip in? Sure. How much? I don't know, like a grand or two? Do I get to drive it? No, but you get to sit in it. Mm, $35. That's a good offer. <laughs> if I get to drive it, I'll pay a little bit more. How much? Well, let's do it this way. If you were to rent one, it'd cost you about $6,000 a day. Okay. So if you want to have it for like a week, yeah. that'd cost you 40 grand. Okay, I'll counter you at three grand. Okay. And then I just get to drive it whenever we hang out. Which is a lot. Yeah. Let me give that some thought. <laughs> How about this? Like a purple one, purple nah. pink. I got hammered for saying that blue watch was green. But Wait, look how I'm, not, that I'm is. not pointing the camera at the right thing. Where's the blue one? There. Green? Turquoise. It looks green to me. Well, it's kind of a bluey green. <laughs> yeah, the green watch I was know, blue. Because it wasn't. Th that, look, that's teal. Agreed. We right, agree on that. It's kind yeah. of a greeny blue. This is like a purplish pink, a light purplish pink. Yeah. Right? Like a sort of a lilac y. Orange? <laughs> Not red. Red? Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. But look at these cars. I mean, talk about selection. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Well, okay. There's so no Rolls Royce dealer anywhere on the planet that has this. No. This just doesn't exist. I mean, it gets it all the way around. So let's do a quick tally, because look, they're all down there too. All the yeah. way to the end. So what, what would we say is the average price of one of these? Four, Half a million. They're five, they are 500? Well, these, these are 600, the Phantoms. Yeah. Uh, let's, go, let's go 500, uh, 400, 400? 400. Okay, so from the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's actually 22 because that one's a Bentley. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. So 22 times four, is 88. One point, what, 16 million dollars? 88, 44 million dollars. 44 million dollars? Uh, no. <laughs> Stephen is 100% putting like the math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do, thing do, on do the, the math. I, I, so 22, 20, if there were a million dollars each, it would be 22 million. So it's 11 million if there were 500. So it's like nine, nine million or somewhere around there. What eight, is it? 8.8 .8 million. I was close at nine million. Crazy. Just in Rolls Royces. <laughs> Right. What do you think? The orange interior, does it fit? It looks black. No, it would have to be red. It has a red stripe oh, on it. Oh, true. Oh, God, the screen is just that tinted. It is red. It's black oh, and okay. red. black and red, yeah. Be look at the dash. Wow. Never seen anything like that. It's some form of strange carbon. Very, very, very tasteful. It's interesting. It's kind of like, um, like a mesh, like a carbon it mesh. It looks like it would light up, weirdly. I don't think it does, but... These are not Rolls-Royce rims. They're enormous. They are. 24. <laughs> Do you remember back in the 2000s when like a 19 inch rim was huge? Adam, when I bought my first Porsche, which was probably a long time ago, the rims on the standard rims were 15 inch and to upgrade to 16, I think they were called Fuchs wheels, mm -hmm. F-U-C-H-S, yep. was like a big deal. Yep. And you couldn't get tires from them because nobody made a 16 inch tire. And now that's the size of like a pram, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, 16 inch tires are still difficult to get. Yeah. It's a weird size. Okay, so this, it's like a metallic black with a tinge of something in it. Like a, I don't know, like a... Some rainbow. It's like yeah. green, I see greens, I see some reds. Fun, right? Rolls-Royce make a cracking car, don't they? A cracking car indeed. Yeah, I know, I know we've said that these are also very luxurious. They are. But like, there's just something special. I mean, they're also three hundred thousand dollars more. This is also quite beautiful. I haven't seen one like this before. Is that flying spur? This is a Bentley, but it's definitely not a regular Bentley. Look at this. It's yeah, it is. It's the flying spur. Glass crystal in here. You lab, see it? lab grind diamond. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so this car, this car's. Uh, I don't mean to, mean to sound obnoxious, but it's only two hundred and nineteen thousand. I thought it would be substantially more. And again, beautiful car. Take a peek inside this one. It's different to a Rolls Royce. It is. It's like a, 
this a funner version right not quite as serious well it, it feels nice. it is nice but it still feels like a sedan whereas rolls royce is like when you get inside of a rolls royce you they, know you're in a rolls royce you could take all the badging off and put somebody in that car and yeah there's nothing it's just a rolls royce there's a lot of space isn't there you yeah know, it's like just it's gigantic yeah gigantic and then this is the same in white and they have so and many. black and then gray and then the drop tops this is fun look they put a little blue accent in the front things you don't normally think of i guess it's got a blue interior yeah that is cool let's see and tell everybody that doesn't already know the uh deal with the pinstripe and who does it at rolls royce and so how it's, it's done done by hand there's one person at rolls royce that that does it they do it all by hand with no masking tape i don't know how they do it it's, it's quite crazy and it costs a fortune yeah this, for this one is, line i think this is a five thousand dollar option oh my goodness and very subtle a little bit of apart from the a pillars seal are, uh, are all teal yeah but it's still subtle mm. it's nice 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 okay let's continue range rovers all the bentleys they're all very similar i think yeah how many miles has yours got now 300 <laughs> 300 isn't that a shame it is a shame let's go to mclarens let's talk about these i don't know i know you're a big fan of mclarens i do like them i like them to drive they're, they're a very very fun car to drive they also they're great on july the 4th <laughs> um firework time right you just started up oh, no. so the thing that really bugs me about mclarens is the build quality let's look at look at the width of the gap here right and this one fits semi-decently but look at the other side it's much closer it is yeah i mean there's no getting away from that but it, that would take an extra few hours in the factory quality control yeah no i and mean it, you're that right could be fixed you you're right I mean? yeah there, there is there is no excuses for that no i mean everything is just not perfect I mean, yeah that's a million miles out but that's the way they make them and some people love them um i i get that it's just not not my not my thing what do you think of this color i like it it's um what color do you think it is gray with a touch of lilac what color do you think it is yeah i would say so gray we're, with we're, a touch we're of... in agreement finally. what color do you think this car is i'd say it's a pale blueberry a, oh a pale blueberry yeah, pale blueberry. Like a chalky blueberry. I like that, pale blueberry. Uh, What's the car? Is but it? what about the calipers on green, like a weird green? It's the so, Artura, isn't it? The, I don't know what uh, it is, but it has a hole here. It's the hybrid one, I think. That, that's oh, called a flying buttress. Flying buttress. Yeah, that's called a flying buttress. Artura, you are, you are correct. Yeah, so it's the hybrid. Interesting car. Interesting. But again, McLaren, like, the, I don't know what generation this is, but this, you know, the, the 570, like, has looked the same forever, obviously. They haven't really facelifted it still too make much. It? Uh, uh, good question. I don't know. Because they have, like, 500 different models that they keep exactly. introducing one. And even with, like, the Artura, it's, it's just a 570 with a facelifted rear bumper. Right. You can open the doors on these. Oh, it's going to crush me. Ah. <laughs> Weird seats. Yeah, I don't know. And, and you like these, right? Um, yes, I mean, I, I do. I just think that McLaren have gotten a bit lazy. Porsche or McLaren? Oh, Porsche all day, every day. No comparison, yeah, right? Yeah, GT3 or GT3 yeah. RS no over comparison. anything else. But they are pretty. What do you think of the SF90? $800,000. Well, that one is. It's a spider. Technologically? Brilliant. Phenomenal. Uh, but when look you, at it. When you actually see them in person, that's underwhelming, right? Slightly it's underwhelming. Right? Don't don't say bad things. Chris is here. <laughs> I heard something. No, no, it's fine. We're, 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 talking about the, we're, we're talking about the SF90. Yes. And I'm, I'm a big Ferrari fan. Love Ferraris. I just think this is underwhelming to look at. I don't know. What doesn't, do you thought? Doesn't grab you? No. Does it grab you? It grabs me at times. At times. Yes, at times. Things take a minute to get used to for me. So to me, it's very aggressive. I like the look. I just don't know if I love the look. Right, I, I think the, the F8 is more aggressive looking. Yes. I think it's the headlights that do it for me, this this fin. There's too much going on up there for you? Yeah, and it's a, it's a, it's a bit funky. Yeah. 
but lovely. Yes. Lovely. Yes, very sexy car. This one is how much? Uh, it's around 700. 700. And the Spider? Uh, high sevens. High sevens. Yeah. And these were going for over a million, weren't they, when yeah. they first came out? And when they first came out, it was the, it was the, the run car. to get the car, yeah. Right, and then it just totally... Yeah. What was MSRP? Oh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the seats, though. Couldn't you hear you, seats, I'm sorry. Michael? I'm guessing that that was probably 600-ish. In, in that area, yes. A tad, maybe a tad under, but right, on, right around there. Yeah. 580, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. Well, this, this is very nice. Well, you won't believe it, but this car is uh, going to a dear friend of mine. Look at it, I've never seen one like this. Yes, it's a dear friend of mine. He's kind of a celebrity, and you know, he came all the way from Los Angeles. Kind of Angeles. a celebrity? Wait, I thought this was Michael's car. <laughs> well, he came all the way from Los Angeles to Orange County. He's exhausted from the trip, but yeah, this is my dear friend, Michael's Porsche. I bought it! Targa. <laughs> I bought it. And in full disclosure, so I bought this car about six months ago. <laughs> It sat here for five months, yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I didn't pick it up. I, in fact, I bought it, I hadn't even seen it. No. Um, I, I bought it, I paid for it, yes. and it sat here, and Chris very kindly took care of it for me. And then I had it shipped to Wicked Motorsports, where they put the GT3 hood on it. Motor Works. Motor Works, sorry, Motor Works. GT3 <laughs> hood. There. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> so the car was sat here for like five months and yes. then they sent a trailer down from, from Wicked Motor Sports Works. Works. This is all going in, so <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to do a retake. So you have the hood, you have the front bumper, <laughs> you had a sexy rear bumper put on it, and now it is the most unique Carrera 4S Targa in the world. Yeah, and it's getting new rims next oh, week. It's, it's getting yeah. Brixton rims. Uh, very cool rims, which will be on the car hopefully next week. Show the back of it. The back of it's really cool too. Yeah, it's... Beautiful. And so you were saying that this mesh here isn't stock. So this they... is this is a this is the OEM Sport bumper. Yeah. And this here was cut out, and they put the the mesh in there because oh. on the factory one it's just solid. Oh, so it it's looks like nice. Kind of crying. Do you want to see inside it? We'll yeah. actually do a whole video on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a proper we'll walk around. Pop. But can we just show people what you had done since we saw it at Wicked? Ah. Yes, indeed. This was silver. When I, do you remember yes, that was yes. that was silver. I forgot that. Yeah. And this is actually a wrap and it looks like paint. You cannot tell that that's not paint, and it's just a fantastic, fantastic job. And- um, It was well done, by the way. That's good It's taste. very well done. Because it stops, the, the flow keeps going. It doesn't stop the silver. The car kind of color flows back and forth. So and I'm going to tag the company in the description who did the, the, uh, the wrap for me. It was fantastic. It so yeah, great. there it is. Um, very exciting. Congratulations. Yeah, we won't open it. We'll do that, we'll do that later. Yeah, let's do a proper walk around. Chris. What a pleasure, my friend. So Thank you much. so much for coming Be in. Best, best dealership anywhere. Greatest selection of cars. Yeah, what a well, pleasure. Nice having you guys down here. What a pleasure, really. Thank you. What a thrill. So you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. And that's it, see ya.